Yeah, hello again. Yeah, I just, you know, uh, last year, last Christmas, I was, I made this video where I talked about depression and, <coughs> sorry, and uh, how many people are have to cope with during the holidays and all that well now it's been uh, another holiday that may be also difficult to get through for some people who are alone and you know don't have um, don't have much where to go really I mean uh, it's I mean you can go anywhere if you have enough cash of course but uh, I mean if you are alone it's no it's not the same I mean it's not so fun to go anywhere alone I mean I, that's just the fact that's just how I feel you know and uh, sometimes you try to tell yourself you know okay I'm alone I can still have fun or what but I mean uh, unless you go out somewhere in some kind of nightclub and <laughs> manage to hook up with someone then you know then it's okay but uh, otherwise you know there are if people are struggling with depression and you know anxiety and other things like self-doubt they are not likely to go to a nightclub you know that's just how it is you know so <laughs> yeah you know I've been struggling with, I mean uh, someone commented on my last video about this that I made the last Christmas <laughs> and asked me how I was and I replied yeah I'm fine and I was fine then I mean I was feeling rather fine because I was working, uh, I still am, but now I was on holiday. And fortunately, that's that's gone. That's about to end. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, sometimes for some people, work is all they have. Almost, I mean, uh, it's their main place where it, where they socialize as well I mean you know that's just how it is I, <clears throat> it's hard to talk about this you know and uh, you know um, but when it comes to how I am now well I could have been better for sure because uh, the, the problem is when you have I mean when you live like I live it's like I'm uh, I'm not gonna hide it okay I, I I don't have a you know I don't have a girlfriend or a wife or anything or somebody so it's hard you know and uh, that's one thing but even if you have do have a girlfriend or someone like that I mean unless you are living together it's not I mean uh, it's nice but uh, it's still not enough sometimes you know because women and especially younger women have uh, sometimes a lot of uh, those who have a lot of friends especially they don't always have so much time I mean to spend with you I mean as much as you might have one won it, you know so that's that's a problem also sometimes you don't see them like more than once a week or maybe not even that so you know once or twice a week so but I guess that would be all right for me I mean uh, but the problem is that I don't really have any friends that I can see like as often as I would like to you know so that's my problem and I bet there are other 
people, plenty of other people out there who have the same problem because uh, today it's all about the social media and the internet and you know it's more I mean uh, it's become so much about socializing uh, not in uh, real life but on the internet and uh, that's good I mean if, if you are a bit younger you know and you don't like when I was in my 20s I didn't feel like going out so much back then you know actually and uh, you know uh, it was okay for me just to have friends on, on online and you know not have any real friends I mean I, I had one real friend actually but he didn't live he did in the same city as I that's the problem he only came here sometimes so uh, and I mean that's almost the same situation now I, I have actually one uh, true friend I mean but uh, who I don't see as much either as I would have wanted and uh, I have uh, someone who is in, I'm I'm related to who, who I socialize with that I'm blood, you know, blood relative, uh, but that's not the same, you know, when it, it's kind of depressing also when uh, your, one of your best friends is actually your cousin, it's like, you know, have I really gone this, this low, have I fallen this low, like, <laughs> I have to have a cousin as a friend, you know, like, even though I think he's uh, the one that understands me the mo the best, and you know we have a lot of in, in common, uh, as cousins tend to do sometimes. Anyway. <laughs> so, but anyway, um, for a while I I was working out, and that kind of uh, was replaced for me in a way I mean not it can never completely re replace socializing you know just meeting up with friends and you know, going out and all that but uh, in a way uh, it filled some kind of void in my life it did fill a void definitely and I got to see uh, and meet other people there I mean I didn't talk really much to anybody but only a couple of people but uh, it's kind, it kind of gives you a good uh, motivation and um, you know it's especially when you see a lot of younger you know people like girls and all, all the others you know and it's kind of uh, good to see life you know <laughs> going on and uh, but then uh, when I stopped working, you know, that's what, when it, this happened and last Christmas I stopped working out, I mean, and I started feeling really, you know, down and angry, but that's the worst kind of, uh, I think, feeling when you are not only depressed, but you are also angry and frustrated because your life isn't more, it, it isn't better, you know, that's the problem. And, uh, <coughs> so, yeah, it's really not a good place to be, you know, you feel like, almost like everybody is against you, or you are against everybody, and all that stuff. <coughs> uh, but, uh, as I said, I mean, uh, it's always uh, good to get out, I mean, even if you don't have s anyone to go, I mean, with you, it's always at least better than just staying at home and feeling terrible, you know, and feeling bad for not being, uh, you know, out on a Saturday night or Friday, whatever, <laughs> like almost everybody else. 
except the married people <laughs> even they go out of course but not every Friday or Saturday night so um, that's my advice I mean the only uh, reasonable advice I can give you to you who are really you know depressed and uh, you know like you feel like you got nowhere to go I mean uh, it's not like that I mean you just have to be a little creative and try to find the right places to go don't try to go I mean it's you know you must know yourself I try also to fool myself and you know say oh I can go to a nightclub or a bar or you know no I'm not that type I mean I, I did go I can go to bars sometimes, but not alone. I'm not that type. I mean, <laughs> who goes to a bar alone to pick up girls and stuff? No, I'm not that type. Sorry. And you have to know, you know, what kind of place is right for you. So, if you go to a place where it's really loud and you know, a lot of people, and you feel like you start feel cramped, you know, and uh, you start to feel claustrophobic almost then you should get out of there just find somewhere more peaceful and but where there are people of course <laughs> like a restaurant or you know some kind of quiet quiet uh, coffee shop something like that yeah of course it's not so easy if you are looking for to find someone to meet someone of the i mean to have a romantic relationship with and uh, you know i mean i've tried internet dating that's not i mean don't try that i won't recommend it because first of all you have to pay you have to pay for all these uh, i mean if you are going to stand a chance to find somebody there you have to pay money and I think it's a waste of money really because uh, it's not so easy really you know, to you know find someone that is right for you and that also wants to be with you you know so the chance is rather small I must disappoint you that you will find someone like that you know I mean it's possible of course but I wouldn't really recommend it I, I think it's better just to go out there and try to s connect with somebody somehow you know like start a conversation you know that's the best way and but to do that of course to be able to find someone that way then you have to go out as much as possible of course yes yeah, so that was a, a little about me I don't want to make this video too long because then not so many of you will want to watch it so I wish you a, a good uh, pleasant weekend <laughs> see you around bye bye